Fingers get selective now in HD. Fingers, ping, 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 fingers get selective. Ping, ping, fingers, fingers get selective. Ping, 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 fingers get selective. Ping, 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 fingers get selective. Ping, 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 fingers get selective. Bing, 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 finger skate selective. What up, everyone? It's Finger Skate Selective here. Today I'm reviewing the KL Wood Bench. First of all, I got this bench at flatfacefingerboards.com. I will put that link right down there in the description. So after you watch this video, please go down there, click the link, check out Flatface, check out the KL Wood Benches. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. All right, so first off, I had quite a few people ask me to review this. So here it is. Also, if you guys ever have any suggestions for stuff you would like to have me review, please toss your ideas right down there. In the comments I will definitely take a look so the kale wood bench what do we got here let's start off with the basic dimensions it's a little over nine and a half inches long it's a little over two and a half inches wide then it's a little over an inch and a half tall from the riding surface up to the top it's a really good size it feels super chunky and it's very solid it's not wobbly at all it's not falling apart it's very nice and stable let's go ahead and start with the top as you can see it's made of four wooden slats each slat is connected to the metal base using two screws per slat one there and one there one on each side then for added strength on the bottom the screws also have a washer and nut on each one so it's very very nice they did a very good job putting these together super tough and now that we're looking at the bottom you can see right up against the wood here there's one great big metal piece that almost covers the entire bottom then coming up from that you've got three round legs then attached to those legs you have nice big feet on the bottom which keep it stable keep it from falling over when you're doing tricks on it so it's very cool they did a really good job on these. Also, you notice the little lightning bolt cutouts for added flare. Rick flare! What? Also, you guys probably noticed that there are non-sliders on here. I put those on there. They did not come on here, and I didn't try it without non-sliders, so I can't really tell you if it works good without them or not, but I went ahead and put some on there just for some extra anti-skittage. It works great with them. I'm not sure without them. So, other than being chunky with a lot of nice little details, it is a pretty basic obstacle, but the way they built it makes it really cool. This bench here was $35 plus a $10 fixed shipping cost which seems expensive until you get a look at it firsthand and you see how much work goes into each one so if you have the means I highly recommend picking one up first Bueller what all right so I'm gonna go ahead and try a few tricks on here for you thank you guys for watching this review make sure you guys check out all my other reviews and weird videos thanks again bubbles and bubbets later